A guy named Matt was promised one, so to leave him one, I'm getting two. Forty dollars. All mine. Uh. That's one damn good beer. You didn't get you one? Who are you? I'm Beer Drink Shawty, and this is another Who Are You review. However, this is somewhat of a special edition beer review for the fact that it's three years in the making. For three years straight, I've been unable to attain Bell's Brewery Hop Slam Ale. However, this year, a nigga got lucky. I'm hearing a lot of places are only allowing two single beers per customer. The place that I went to were actually cool enough to let me get two six packs, three years in the making. I'm trying to get this in me. Mm. Uh, will it be everything that I've wished for? Everything? Will it be everything that I've hoped for? A little more aggressive. Not really that aggressive. Bubbles definitely streaming upward like the salmon. One thing that I'll say about this beer is this is exactly what I like to see in a beer. And also, like I said, since I'm hearing such good things about it, I had to throw it in the new Belgium glass. But my question is, is it good enough? Bales, are you good enough to be in the new Belgium brewing bottle? <sighs> by the way, this beer is 10% alcohol by volume. I'm not sure how many IBU and brewed with Honey, definitely, without even drinking any really, really lace sensitive. There, yeah, see all that lace still just chilling out there, so it's super fresh beer. The one thing about this beer is you can only, pretty much, you can only get Bell's Brewery Hop Slam one day out of the year because they sell out within 15 to 30 minutes of hitting the actual store. I got lucky this year. Okay, I'll admit it. My name is Aaron Gordon and I have a problem with alcohol. See, now that's the first. I'm not gonna lie, it's really, it's really strong. Like you, could, you can smell the hot presence, somewhat citrusy, but you get the bitterness from the nose. Like, I already hit the palate denominator of the Miller Lite. It's time to go ahead and s stop it. My nigga. <laughs> Holy shit. I, think, I, I, I hate it because it's like motherfuckers gonna think that I'm just straight up bullshitting because it's a hype beer. Taste that. Taste the amount of, uh, like the, the bitterness. It's almost, it's almost creamy and melt. All, like the bitterness, the sweetness, it all kind of blends together perfectly. This is, this is, this is, this is a tasty ass beer. I can't front. Y'all know how I do. I do real ass fucking reviews. So, I'm going to tell you straight up and down. This beer, they said it's brewed like you get the bitterness from the IBU. It is bitter, but it's almost like a, a more crisp bitterness to the beer. You get that sweetness while you're drinking it. And on the back, then you get the lingering bitter on the very back of the tongue. The honey... I imagine is what the, the sweetness that I'm getting, but it's a bit citrusy as well. This, the hype is real. I'll put it this way. If on a scale of zero to five, I would have to rate this Bell's Brewery Hop Slam Conor McGregor. Glad I stayed up a little bit later. Finally got one in me. Three year wait. Nothing's worth waiting three years. However, it's but that's that that that, that doesn't fit because that means like if it if it died or something. There's nothing bad about this beer. How about that shit? On a scale of zero to five, I'm giving it a five.
And for a 10% alcohol beer, that alcohol is masked really well. Bell's easy, Mo. Who are you?